shit went down. And I'm crazy, crazy nervous. Obviously, you can tell I put a little bit of effort in. Um, I'm terrified I'm going to see Will um, with somebody. I did not wear waterproof mascara, which I should have. Um, but I'm going to watch some of my friends, Billy, Jaden. I'm pretty sure some others um, have their signing ceremony where they're committing to their athletics at their colleges. Um, and I'm really excited to see them. I'm terrified, but I'm excited to see the people that really care about me. I reached out to one of those girls that really broke my heart and she's been really resistant and I don't really know what to do, but I wanted to touch base. So I'm driving, so sorry. I love you guys. Um, so I just wanted to add for this next clip that, um, I had a really bad day the day before I filmed this following clip. Um, and I really just needed God and needed to really dive into that and be able to, I just needed his hands. I needed to focus on him. And so this next clip to, clip is of, um, me praying and my prayers are very, very, like they vary so much every night. So this is not at all like what they're like all the time. Um, and I know it's kind of weird because prayers are very personal, like a very personal thing, but the reason I wanted to share it isn't like, oh, you know what I pray about. It's because like for people out there who like have not grown up in a family that prays all the time or even aren't Christian or just like aren't comfortable praying. So a lot of times people just don't know like what, like what is prayer? Like why? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, please help me. Amen. But, like, honestly, for me, like, prayer does not matter how it is. It's different for everyone in every situation every day. Every second is always different. So, like, um, this is just, like, an example of something. My prayers normally go on really long at night. Um, but this is just a short little glimpse of what a prayer can be like. So, if you... You guys may think it's really dumb, but if you guys wanted, um, if there's someone out there that, like, deep down they really do want, like, it's hard to know. Like, you don't want to pray in public because you don't know if, like, it's going to be a bad prayer, and there is no bad prayer. But, um, here's just, like, an example. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to pray now. Um... This prayer is really a personal thing, so it differs for everybody, but I don't know, I just felt like doing it here. Um, dear God, I just pray for all the people in the world who are hungry and who are hurting or in pain or are struggling and that they fight, they can just be empowered through you, God, and I pray that um, this conflict between me and um, Annabelle can be reconciled and cleaned up and that these weights on our shoulders and my chest can be lifted so I can strive to find you, Lord, and I pray that I never forget the love I have for Will and his family, God, and I just pray that one day we'll be brought back together in some sort of peace, Lord, and I just pray that you can get me through the day tomorrow because today was really tough, God, I just... Hey guys, so, um... Again, I just need to add in before this next one that I was having a very um, bad day, and you'll see this throughout my videos, but this is kind of one of the first moments that I truly am really vulnerable, and um, I've had times that you'll hear about of um, my me being vulnerable and sharing my words, getting biting me in the butt, and um, this is really just me flashing back on periods where I was in part some of the darkest times that I was in which um, I didn't start this vlog series until after um, I was getting out of the darkest darkest part but um, this is just to show you like that it's okay to feel that way um, and you shouldn't be ashamed of it um, not saying it's okay as in you don't need to be getting better because you do need to seek help but you shouldn't feel guilty for feeling um, for feeling dark feelings or for feeling, um, just agonizing and like, I don't know, I can't explain it as, I guess, some of the feelings I've felt recently, 
I've been ashamed of thinking or even people t- saying to me the fact that like my feelings are scary um, and feelings can be terrifying but it's almost like they're like the dark feelings people feel in movies and um, but I just want to say that, like movies are stemmed off of like real life um, so don't feel ashamed if you felt this way and please please don't judge um, my words here um, going back over it, they are very vulnerable, they are very, um, I'm tearing up now just re-watching it, um, so if that's something, um, then, yeah, just skip past it if it's too much. I just want to share kind of like how I'm feeling about myself and my life right now, um, I'm sure that there are times that you guys have felt this way, but I feel utterly alone. Um, I feel like I'm an animal on the side of the road that's just in agony, but cars just keep running over me, you know? I feel like I'm alone in this fight, but not just alone. I'm alone and everyone's ganging up against me. And... It just, I don't want to fight this fight anymore, but I know that I have to fight it to be able to survive, you know? I just don't know what to do. I just feel so lonely, and I feel like there's no one to blame but myself. Okay, guys, so before um, you get on to the next clip, sorry, this vlog has a ton of interjections. But, um, I just want to say that, um, if there are any mistakes or any things that need to be clarified, I had a really hard time rewatching this, um, just because I've had to move on from, um, the emotions that I had experienced from this and, um, the PTSD that I will talk about later. Um, so I just kind of threw these videos in in order and, um, I haven't gone back through to watch them, so... I guess you're as new as I am, but. Hi guys, um, I had terrible, terrible dreams last night, and it was like one solid dream, and every time I would wake up from it, I would like count myself to sleep, say God rebuke this, like these thoughts, and think of flowers, and do anything I can, and it would not, like it wouldn't stop, and it like, if you were to have this dream, you probably wouldn't think it was bad. Like, for me, though, they're, like, traumatizing. And it's going to stick with me. Like, I'm shaking right now. Like, it's going to stick with me, like, all day. And I am terrified, mortified. Like, I, I need to stop. And I don't know what to do. But So, my friend Sam, um, we met up a few weeks ago before everything went down. And, um, I guess it was after, I don't know, but, um, or in between, but, um, we were driving on the highway and he, he was doing the, like, yell car or slug bug thing, you know, and we were on this, we were on 44, um, like, driving east and up towards, like, I-35. You probably don't know the highways in Oklahoma City, but, yeah. Anyways, he was like looking we were both looking everywhere to find a car and this ladder flew out of the back of this car and it went over us we were almost hit and like we were paying attention to yellow cars so we didn't see it but we could have died it was actually really like we were shook after and didn't even realize how serious it was but i just saw yellow cars so i had to document this um re-watching that last video i realized that this angle is not very good when i talk because you can see all my chins and I know I'm, like, I have, like, a good, I'm not ashamed of, like, my figure or anything. I just have this, like, weird thing where I have a ton of extra skin on my chin where I get, like, I can have, like, my, I think my record was, like, 13 or something, like, double chins or, like, multiple chins. I'll have to find that picture, but, yeah, I just realized I should probably hold it up and just be aware of cops or not video while driving, but there you guys go, cheer me up a little bit, 
but thanks. So, um, if you guys want to know the dream I was talking about, there's, um, this girl who I met on a mission trip, my first time to Haiti, where, like, I left my heart, like, I'm trying to go back this year, it just, anytime I feel like home, I think of Haiti, um, and, like, every church I go to is disappointing compared to the ones that I experience there, where it just, like, breaks you down, it's in a different language, but... My stream was of this girl who became my best friend, um, or at least I thought so, and was, like, there for me and my faith. We made a small group. Like, I introduced her to my boyfriend, like, love of my life. Like, I'll love him forever. I'm sure I've mentioned that. I smile now at things, like, a lot of this breakdown, um, was kind of triggered. There's gonna be multiple parts to this, but you know those saying, like, the straw that broke the camel's back? Like, they're thousands of straws that lay on it before but everyone only thinks it's the last straw. but anyways for me that last straw was when he broke up with me because like I picture my whole life with him and he's like what sucks is like I can't hate him because he's such an amazing person he's just he's being a kid like doing things that I don't necessarily think are right but you know like I'm just fortunate enough to not have gone through that phase of doing those things, but it's not my right to judge him, and I have to realize that, and that's something that's really hard for me, but his family, everyone, like, love my lives, but I've, like, known that he's been talking to this, like, best friend of mine that I introduced to, like, for a long time, not, I don't know, like, romantically talking, talking, I don't know, but, and she's kind of, like, ganged up on me with, like, everybody else, um, about the bullying video and everything, and, um, my dream was just, like, of her, like, I finally broke down, and I literally started, like, hitting her, and because, like, I feel like I've buried everything, and I'm trying, like, I'm, had the messenger all day yesterday, like, trying just so hard, because I just, I want to be able to go face to face and talk to her about what I'm going through, because I know she knows the stuff about, that Will has said, and, like, if hearing only his words that I'm sure people would think I'm absolutely insane but and I can't like force anyone to think otherwise but I can do all I can and that is like sharing because I feel like she's the kind of person that I owe the truth to to know like what's really going on with me you know and why I did what I did and things like that and I'll we'll probably go more into depth like later on making these videos I still don't know where I'm gonna post these but um or if but you know like it's just been challenging because I, like, it sits with me all day, these, like, thoughts of her and, like, the way she thinks about me and, like, it's not even that big of a deal, but, like, to me it is. And, like, I don't know, I, like, am shaking and I just get so, like, I don't want to function because I have these dreams of just continual arguing and I feel quite literally like I'm alone in this fight and I'm no one's ever on my side about it and no one's ever there to defend me and I just have to like like I feel like an animal that's literally like scrained scrounging I don't know the word to survive like digging through the dirt to find worms like I mean not literally but like in a metaphorical way like I feel like I am scrounging to survive and no one's there to help me and I know God is and it's really hard sometimes to realize that and this is something where like those little steps you take are the only thing that you feel like is going to make you any better and I need to be able to talk to her and like she just won't have it and I like she's like I don't need to for I've already forgiven you and I'm literally trying the nicest way possible to say like I don't need your freaking forgiveness I need it I need to forgive, like, I need to forget about you, I don't need to be friends, like, if you don't want to be friends, like, I don't need, I just, I need it to go away, like, I need the pain, I just need this all to go away, and I don't know how to tell her details like that over text, because she won't see me in person, and, like, who knows, she'll answer the phone, and I don't want to, like, write anything down, like, if I'm going to share my deepest, darkest secrets, like, it needs to be face-to-face, because you can't record it, you can tell people you have no proof, like, And if she's really that dark, like, twisted, then, and to share, like, the least I can do to protect myself is to just not be, like, written it where she can share that, you know? 
guys. Um, so I am nine minutes late to my outpatient therapy, so I have to go, but, um, I just wanted to also share that, like, I feel like I've been doing everything I'm told, like, trying medicines, trying outpatient, inpatient, trying therapists, trying psychiatrists, like, I'm getting a blood panel today, and I'm terrified about it, and I don't want to go into that, because I could rant for days about how bad I react to that, and it's not a mental thing, but I just feel like it's going nowhere, and I'm praying, praying so hard that this, like, can really help me, um, so if you guys could just pray with me, that's what I wish, if I could wish one thing besides, like, to have Will in my life again in some way or form is that people would stop judging my decisions and just start praying for me genuinely, but I love you guys. Thanks for listening if I even decide to post this, but love y'all. So, I'm late, so I have to go, and it's freezing here, and I just drove here with my complete windshield, like, that's all I could see, right there. Um... Because I promised the guy I wouldn't be late because I only have two days left. And I know I shouldn't have done that. But I survived. So you have to congratulate yourself on each success that you have. Even if it's a bad success. Maybe not if it's a bad success. But I had another terrible, terrible, terrible dream where my family teamed up against me and everything. But my first part of my dream was amazing because Will missed me and he reached out to me. And I literally felt like that was so real. So, um, have a good day, I guess. So I'm trying this angle for better lighting, but to interject again, um, I refer to Will a lot throughout, like, my videos, and it's less and less as it goes on, because I'm moving forward, but, um, I just want to say, like, dang it, ooh, I gotta yawn, okay. I just want to say that, like, when I say he comes back to me, um, I don't mean, like, he comes back and, like, dates me. A lot of times I'm just meaning, like, he wants, he starts communicating with me again or we're friends again because no matter what, he's, had fills, him and his family fill this big part of my heart and I care about them so much no matter what will happen. Um, and so when I am saying that, I just mean, um, that, like, this person I care about a ton isn't ashamed of knowing me anymore, isn't avoiding me anymore, isn't, um, scared of me or thinks I'm crazy and we are able to talk again or we're friends again and, yeah, maybe that includes we date one day again or something, but, like, I really, when I'm saying this, I really mean simply communicating again or being friends again. Um, and at the far, far extreme, dating again. But I know that there's a small chance for that, so just wanted to clear things up.